Plastic container storage is mostly cheap and easy. Spiky bits. Hey, welcome back, hobby maniacs. Uh, I'm Ron Bear from spikybits.com, of course. And today I wanted to show you all the different plastic storage solutions that are out there that a lot of them you can buy at your local, uh, you know, arts and crafts store. Some of these you can get off of Amazon or other websites, but all of them work great for storing miniatures. And in a lot of cases, they're stackable or portable with little handles and things. And I have, well, I use a bunch of different ones for a bunch of different reasons. And I thought, well, maybe we should just make a video going over them all. So it doesn't matter which case you decide on using, you're always gonna want some sort of metal, non, or make sure it is ferrous. You don't want non-ferrous like uh, aluminum or something. You want something that's gonna be able to hold magnets. And you can get tin uh, from your local, uh, you know, self D DIY center, Lowe's, Home, Home Depot here in the States. They sell big sheets of HVAC uh, ductwork, uh, sh sheets of tin. You, get, you can get like a four by six sheet for like seven, eight bucks back in the day. Like back in the day, I mean, before the Ronas. <laughs> so nowadays it might cost like 10 bucks. I don't know, but they're all different. They have these pre-cut ones on Amazon and I'll link them, of course, all the links, all the stuff are gonna be in the comments in the description below don't worry about that but these are one by one pre-cut one by one foot pre-cut um tin basically plates and every every one of these solutions basically is going to be the same depending on how big it is you either cut down a sheet of metal which is super easy to do the hardest problem is just don't cut yourself or going with these one by ones which work really well for a lot of these storage solutions here so if you do need to cut it it's not a big deal you just need some tin snips these are rather large but they, they get the job done and they're relatively affordable at you know around 10 bucks or you can get some smaller uh, shears these are my fisker shears these work pretty well um but they're you know if you want to do a whole big sheet if you just need to make a quick quick uh, adjustment it's better for that now once you get all these tools and you decide, hey, I want to put that in a particular case, all you're gonna have to do is get your case handy. And I've already done one right here, this is my, my spare. Um, measure it out, now this one I cut, of course, and to secure it to the bottom, we're just gonna use a couple of strips of foam tape, which is super easy, dope stuff. Um, Scotch makes it, double-sided foam tape. A lot of people use this for their airbrush uh, assembly setup. You just get some of this, run it along the inside, slap your piece of uh, steel down in there and then around the borders you're just going to use some duct tape some good old-fashioned black duct tape i find black just looks the best in there of course and all i do is i start a little notch and i actually cut it down the middle i rip off a big piece and then i tear it down the middle and i make those little halvesy pieces that you see in there and then you're good to go it's pretty it's super solid um, i've never had one of these pop out or, or mess up on me so that's how that's the how and now you just kind of have to figure out the the what or the which and when it comes to that well there's a lot of different solutions that case i just showed you we've showcased in the past it's called an iris uh, scrapbooking case uh, that one's great it fits most things unless you have super big fatties and then you're gonna want this bigger case here. But Iris also makes these little rolly cart ones that um, you get six of these in a little rolly cart and they are great for like just straight units because they fit pretty much normal standard Marines and stuff or, or any 32, 28 millimeter scale duders fit in there just great. And then, you know, you just basically lock them in. Uh, we used a little, uh, sticker magnets on these because if you have resin bases the best thing to do is use sticker magnets i get those from squad mark they're pre-cut they're amazing super easy to use um i buy a lot of stuff from him when i'm making an army and then we've got the old the old standbys this is that iris case and as you can see it fits quite a bit of different type of units from a telemon to a jet bike to even the man the myth himself and oh the gladys and then you've got the, the tanks too. So you can fit a whole lot of different stuff in here, uh, but things that don't fit in here are like Deathcore Creek horses, uh, bigger models from Age of Sigmar and things like that. These are just file box cases. 
that you can get, uh, and I'll link them, of course, and they just basically do the same thing. A lot nice and big. You don't have to worry about the size of things. Mortarion fits in here. The only thing that I found that doesn't fit in this case, and I actually don't own it, so that works out pretty good, is Archaeon. Uh, that's the only Warhammer model that I know of that won't fit in this size of case. You know, besides Forge World Titans and things, but you're not gonna put those in a plastic case, so don't worry about that. So pretty much everything else will fit in this. Now, that's just the normal stuff. Let's talk about some of these new cases I found recently that I'm really excited about. So recently I was looking for a solution for all my Marvel Crisis Protocol minis because there's so many tokens, there's so many minis, there's almost, I think there's upwards of 90 minis right now for Warhammer Crisis, or <laughs> for Marvel Crisis Protocol that, um, you know, sometimes you want to have them all on you, but sometimes you don't. Sometimes you just want different rosters. And I saw a lot of folks using the Sterilite uh, cases because they are two cases inside of one. Uh, which are really great because you can put you know a lot of your your tokens and things in the bottom and then you can have miniatures and, and different things in here that you might need for your actual game and that works great if you don't want it or if you don't have bigger miniatures like hulkbuster or Dormammu, or even um stuff like hulk himself might not fit in there or even modok i don't think fits in there and magneto's uh terrain pieces don't fit in this top either but this is 10 bucks it's super affordable. You can put a lot of things in it. You might not put all your miniatures in it, but you can scoop up some of these. And best of all, it's roughly one by one, but you will have to cut some of that metal to put it in here. And then this is what they sell separate ones as well that are stackable to just to give you an idea of, you know, what exactly you're looking at here. But I think a lot of folks prefer this double one right here. So that led me to the art bins. And the art bins is something I knew about way, way, way back in the past. And I, they still make them, which is, which is great and amazing. Um, but these are available at most arts, arts and crafts stores, you know, Michaels, Hobby Lobbies, those sort of things. You might not be able to find this exact case, but you get the idea. And there's a bunch of different ones. And they, besides actually being able to hold your figures and such, which I thought was pretty cool. So I put, I bought this so one, it's called the Double Deep, D -d Double Deep. And I've been using these about four or five months now. The snaps, sometimes these will pop off, like they literally pop off, but they haven't busted yet. They're pretty high quality, um, as long as you don't step on it or it doesn't shatter when it hits the floor or concrete or something like that, it's all good to go. This one's a great size. It's bigger than that iris case. Uh, and it you know can fit this is basically three i want to say three or four rosters worth of marvel crisis protocol figures but it can easily handle any war games worth of figures um and best of all it's got a handle on it so you know if you just want to be bought down to the game store all of these cases had handles on it from the art bin which i thought was pretty cool now this one is where i keep all the terrain in and they make these dividers i actually took the dividers out of that last one you just saw but you can have the dividers in there if you need to and this is really great because i take my terrain uh for marvel crisis protocol and i use all this pre-painted stuff from gamemat.eu because i don't want to spend a bunch of time painting terrain and that's you know i'd rather paint my miniatures i didn't put the size of terrain on here but this is the same set of terrain i used to play adeptus titanicus and sometimes you know i would have to travel to find folks to play titanicus with and so i would i now have a solution to carry my titanicus terrain around with me as well which is really really cool and i really like the game out.eu pre-painted stuff now when i was also looking at these these cases they have all sorts of different ones and they all have handles and they actually make these um, um, docking stations almost so you can have it you know you can attach it to your wall or it's basically a shelving unit where these will slide into them so you can pull out all your hobby supplies or all your you know uh, miniature supplies there they make this case which has a bunch of bins and when you put it together there's like four bins here and these little bins on the side which would be great for keeping track of your bits or something like that or your hobby supplies whatever i just thought it was a neat case so i picked one up just to fiddle around with it i'm probably not going to keep this but it's still definitely worth mentioning and another one that's worth mentioning that i thought was pretty neat was they call it glitter glue storage but yeah but let's uh, let's not let's not kid anybody here we know what this is really for paint dropper bottles obviously so it's got this little handle on the back somewhere that you flip this oh yeah here it is so you flip this out and boom 
you've got your uh, little easel set up with all your paints. You can easily transport all your drop and bottle paints. This fits pretty much every drop and bottle except for the larger monument ones that I found. And then you pop them back in here and it might, it might bounce around a bit, but you could put something in here for like, you know, a divider or some such. But uh, yeah, I don't know about glitter glue, but it definitely works good for dropper bottles. And then they've got the super satchel, which I thought was kind of interesting. I'm not gonna personally use this, but I could see where a lot of people would want it because it has all these bins and you could put like basically all your tools in it. So they've got large area in the, the, bo the bottom here that you can put stuff in. Then when you close that up, you've got these side things that you could put all your tools. I don't know how this flips out. Oh, it flips down actually. And you can put all your tools and whatever, paintbrushes and things into here. And then you basically see how it, how it all, you can put big stuff in the bottom, all your little stuff in the top here. How does this open? I forget. Oh, that's right. You snap it like this. Everything's easier to do when you're not holding a camera. And then you can have dividers. You can pull, um, oh, these are already pulled out. So you have to have smaller things like tools and different things in there. But I thought it was pretty neat. And these art bins, they range anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks, depending. So they're not the cheapest, but for what they are, a nice sturdy case with a handle on it that stacks up. And you can even have those little docking stations like I talked about. It's pretty solid, to be quite honest, and free shipping and stuff from most of these companies online. And then this is what I ended up storing my Marvel Crisis Protocol stuff in. Um, it's a great little bin. It's the same thing. It's like the super satchel. I'll link everything in the comments in the um, description below. But it's got this pull-out tray. Uh, I bought this pencil case extra to have my maneuver templates and my measuring sticks and my dice. And this thing pulls out. And then I could store all my extra things. I got the postcard holders and the sleeves for my character cards, coin holders for all my, these are my status conditions. And then I've got a, a set that specifically holds all the um, objectives. So I know this one's all my objectives and I've got all my cards in here, all my team tactics cards in these really nice matte uh, clear sleeves from Dragon Shield, which are really good. Um, my work in progress decks right there, all my tokens, my little trackers my, uh, that were printed in a filament printer here that keeps track of my power or my damage for my characters. And the double one for Hulkbuster slash, um, I guess Hulkbuster Hulk is the only one over 10 wounds right now. And a chess clock to keep track of my time, you know, so I don't slow play anybody. I say so people don't slow play me, but really it's me slow playing them because I'm just really thorough when it comes to playing sometimes. So probably not gonna play any more tournaments in my, in my day and age, but that's okay. I still like having fun. So that all snaps together. And then the three of these stack together, that in my Mass Bar Mars case, which I don't have around here handy, but that's all I take down to the game store to play some Marvel Crisis Protocol. And that is pretty much it. So. Lots of new options, lots of cool things out there. It's a very DIY or do-it-yourself kind of um, little solution, but these art bins are definitely worth checking out or these smaller Sterilite bins are definitely worth checking out, especially the two for here, that you get two of these and they'll stack together and you're only back 20 bucks at that point. Add in a piece of tin and you're like, maybe 50 bucks altogether if you don't have the tools already and i think that's a pretty good solution for a lot of war games including marvel crisis but these would definitely hold tanks and things too if you wanted to do warhammer sigmar i don't know everything's so big it's hard it's hard to find a good solution for sigmar except for that one i showed you earlier there so that is it for this one please leave me any, any questions let me know what you use to transport your miniatures what you find works best for you i mean there's lots of great solutions out there obviously battle foam you know, but at the end of the day, some of the things I have just aren't gonna fit in foam, you know what I'm saying? So I'm really interested to hear what you guys use. Um, and before you do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos. If you liked that video feature, consider supporting us over at patreon.com and get back in the mail each month a miniature crate full of some of the stuff we review here, as well as some of the top 3D artist designs out there too to help support what they're doing. Plus, 
discount coupon codes from some of those same manufacturers. They're yours to keep, whether you cancel or stay on. Just it's totally up to you. Obviously, we want to keep you as happy as possible. So check it out over at patreon.com forward slash spikybits.